Welcome back guys and let's talk about NiceHash plus Ravencoin. So why doesn't NiceHash add Ravencoin? If you go to NiceHash.com and search for algorithms that they already support, you can find a full list over here. So they have so many different algorithms right now and so many of them to support and they still get tens of thousands and on some of the algorithms even more than 100,000 miners per algorithm. If you scroll down a little bit you can see that only on Dagger Hashimoto they have 109,000 miners and on something like uh, Equihash they still get 113,000 miners. So why not just add Ravencoin? The explanation for that is pretty simple even if you think that mining Ravencoin is the most profitable thing right now. So if you go to whattomine.com it would look like it is a good idea to add Ravencoin to NiceHash because Ravencoin is still a lot more profitable than some other alg algorithms that NiceHash supports so why not just add it. So if you click on GTX 180, the normal version on whattomine.com you can see that Ravencoin is in top 10 most profitable coins. But just a few days ago Ravencoin was the most profitable coin to mine on almost any Nvidia card and on almost any AMD card except Vega 56 and Vega 64 cards. But the problem with Ravencoin is that it is still so new coin and it doesn't have enough miners to support all of that hashing power. So yesterday the difficulty went up 30% and you can see that Ravencoin dropped from the first or second place to like 10th place of the most profitable coins to mine. So with just the simple difficulty increase on only one coin, the whole algorithm that Ravencoin uses, X16R, is now almost completely useless compared to something like the new algorithm 51612 or even Equihash or Lira 2 Revision 2 on Galactrum or so just one difficulty increase made this algorithm not profitable to mine compared to other things that you can mine with Nvidia or AMD cards. So that is one of the reasons why it's not just added to NiceHash. Now imagine if of those like 109,000 here, miners 30,000 here, 37,000 here, if just 10% of the each pool of miners would switch to mining Ravencoin. Then what would happen to Ravencoin? Ravencoin difficulty would go up so much that you would not be even making $2 before electricity on 180 that you are making now, you would be making less than your electricity cost. So right now the difficulty on Ravencoin is 1.57 terahashes, you can see it right here, and the GTX 180 on Ravencoin gets 10 mega hashes. So if you have 100 of those GPUs you get one giga hash per second. So with only 100, 180 you get 1 giga hash. So now imagine what would happen if tens of thousands of miners would switch to Ravencoin. The difficulty would go up so much it would like double or triple in like one day when NiceHash would decide to add this new algorithm to support. Of course not all the people would switch to this new algorithm because not everybody updates their, their miners on a regular basis and this is the same thing that you can see over here when Kryptonite V7 gets 83,000 miners but on Kryptonite, the normal version before the fork, there is still 37,000 miners even though Kryptonite V7 is a lot more profitable than Kryptonite. So you can see that not all of the people already switched and if you think that those miners are the ASIC miners, they or not because those ASIC miners would not mine on the nice hash they would mine on their own pool or on some more profitable pools. So you can see that almost like one third of people still didn't switch even after one month. So the difficulty spike would not happen so fast but when it would happen it would drop the Raven Queen profitability by double or even triple. So the problem is that only a few coins support the X16R algorithm and it, this is great algorithm, it is hard to be build ASIC for it, but now when you have only Ravencoin and Protoncoin that are two profitable coins to mine and this algorithm, it doesn't make sense for NiceHash to invest all of those uh, engineers and all of that money to support one single coin. And even if Ravencoin would be making you like $10 per day and some other algorithms would be making you $2 per day, they still wouldn't implement this algorithm. Because why would they do that if the only thing that would happen is they would destroy this coin profitability for some other people and you can already see that if you go to nice 
message there are so many algorithms that they support on my 180 Ti that are not profitable and they could just be removed. For example, Blake 2S, you're never going to mine this, Sia, never going to mine that, Pascal, Libri, Decred, none of those algorithms you're ever going to mine profitably. And now even Equihash, we are going to lose that in about a month. If a lot of those coins like Zcash, Zclassic, Zencash, if they don't switch to new algorithm, you are not going to be able to mine even Equihash. And Equihash right now gets you 27,000 Satoshis, and this is the most profitable thing to mine right now. The second one is Lira 2 Revision 2 with 26,000 Satoshis. So we are most likely going to lose the most profitable algorithm, and they are going to have to search for the new algorithms to add and they might even decide to add Luxcoin support with 5, 6, and 12 but this would also drop in profitability really really fast. The thing is that they need to add algorithms that are the most profitable and they that have the biggest amount of miners already on the network but all of those algorithms are already added. If you can show me one algorithm that has so many miners, like 100,000 miners with like tens or even like with 100 different coins that support it and that are profitable, then please write it down in the description. But for them to add Ravencoin, it doesn't make any sense. So if you want to mine Ravencoin profitably, you can use Zerg Pool, Z Pool, and so many other pools that are still profitable. But if NiceHash would add it, they wouldn't do anything. It would just be another algorithm sitting down here with all of those uh, algorithms that maybe get you one third or one fourth of the original profits that you can make, maybe get on Equihash or Tiger Hashimoto. And this is the main reason why Ravencoin is not yet added. And I'm going to talk more about if NiceHash is actually dying right now with so many new ASIC miners that are taking all of our coins that are really profitable to mine. Maybe it is over for NiceHash because they can just keep supporting those most popular coins which everybody knows about and everybody wants to mine. They will at some time have to try and add all of those unpopular coins but they, the moment they add them they will destroy the difficulty and the profits. So it will be nice to see and really interesting to see what happens with NiceHash in the upcoming months with so many new ASIC miners coming out. The ASIC miners are taking a piece of our cake with every new ASIC miner and it looks like the nice hash will not be able to fight against it. But more about this in another video. So thank you guys for watching this video, let me know what you think about it down in the comments and if you actually think that Ravencoin will be added in the future to the nice hash miner. So see you soon in, so see you soon in another one and bye.